I hate advertisements. I feel like over the past few months, I've been thinking a lot about how every time you drive down the street, or you walk a couple blocks, you go to the movies, you watch a streaming service, you watch YouTube, you watch live TV or cable TV, everything and everyone is always trying to sell you something. Now I understand that everyone is trying to make a living, and I also understand that capitalism basically rules how we live our day-to-day -day lives, but it's becoming so overwhelming that it feels like I generally cannot escape ads. No matter what service I pay, no matter what extra fees I pay, no matter how much I'm paying for a movie ticket, or if I'm paying for it, this service or that service, it's incredibly overwhelming for some reason. For example, uh, you know, you go to the movies and you expect there to be around 20 to 15 minutes of shorts, trailers, etc. before your movie actually begins. So a lot of people, including me and my girlfriend, what we started doing is that we usually don't care about the first 10 minutes of a movie because we know that the movie is not really playing. It's just shorts, right? And commercials, mostly Coca-Cola commercials, whatever. But one thing that we've been noticing over the past couple of visits, maybe three or four visits, is that Shorts and trailers are running almost 30 minutes before the movie actually begins, which we found absolutely insane. For example, the last movie that we saw, I don't even remember the name, but it started at 7 p.m. We get there, it's 7 2 p.m., and we already in the seats, just eating our popcorn, our hot dogs, whatever, and so the shorts just start playing. And, you know, we watch a couple of them, we actually pay attention to some of them, some movies that we're actually interested in. And then they just keep going, and keep going, and keep going, and keep going. And then I notice, because I really start thinking to myself, damn, I feel like I've been sitting here for a long time and the movie hasn't even... The lights haven't been, even been dimmed, you know? So I check the time and it's already 7.35 p.m. It's, <laughs> we've been sitting down watching ads and commercials and trailers for 30 minutes. So it, I, I don't know on live TV. If you're watching live TV, then you know that commercials are going to be hitting, slapping you in your face every 5, every 10 minutes, and it's, it seems like commercial breaks are also taking longer than they used to. I don't know if it's just me being paranoid at this point, but it genuinely feels like commercial breaks are taking more and more time out of television. And then streaming services are also doing this. Another example, and I feel like all of these are going to be examples, but I generally have been noticing these things more often than ever before. So recently we were watching a show that is called Reacher. It's a very good show, I really like it, it's on Amazon Prime. Now when season 1 came out, it was only me watching it, now my girlfriend. So you know, you pay for Amazon Video or Prime Video, whatever you want to call it. You watch the show, uh, the service already comes with uh, Amazon Prime, so it was all great, amazing. Season 2 comes out and I convinced my girlfriend to watch it with me because I generally think that it's a good show and I think she's going to like it. So we start watching season 2, and what do you know, an ad starts playing before the episode starts airing. So we thought, oh, that's a little weird, maybe one of us forgot to pay for the subscription. Uh, but then we realized, well, we wouldn't be even able to open the episode, access the episode, if we hadn't paid for the subscription. So then we receive a little ad saying that if you want to go ad free, you need to pay an extra $3. Now, $3 doesn't sound like a lot of money, but I just don't buy it when companies start doing these things where they start charging you very little fees for very convenient services, because usually what ends up happening is that these services you keep increasing in price year after year after year until you're basically paying for a whole other subscription than the one that you were originally paying for. And this is linked to my last example. I mean, I can talk about a lot of other examples. This has generally become very annoying and is so prevalent nowadays, especially with subscription models that everyone and their mother is using. But anyway, so back when YouTube Premium was called YouTube Red, I received an invitation to join for three months free. And after that, since I was a student in college back then, I was just going to pay $6.99 for each month. Now, put yourself in my shoes back then. You are broke college student that watches YouTube 90% of the time for your entertainment and then you get an invitation to get three months free of ads, no price at all, and if you want to keep it, they're only charging you $6.99. Would you have taken the offer? 
I'm willing to bet that you would. Anyway, so I joined the three months and it was great. It was absolutely great. And so I decided that I was going to pay the $6 back then because the way I understood it is when you pay for YouTube Premium now, but back then YouTube Premium, then YouTube still supports the creator that you're watching by paying them a base fee, which I think is great. That way I don't feel like I'm just paying to not be able to support them, basically. So I paid the $6, it's all great, it's all amazing. And then the year after that, the price stays the same way, actually. It doesn't really change that much. A couple of years go by, and then the YouTube subscription changes to YouTube Premium. And then YouTube Premium starts adding more uh, features that honestly, they're, they're pretty useless. I haven't found a single one of these features useful other than maybe playing videos when you close the app, which is something that you could have been doing on Android phones for a long time, but just recently got added to iPhones. Um, so anyway, I'm just, I'm getting off track here. Point is, I paid the subscription because the way I understood it and I researched this afterwards, Yes, when you pay for the subscription, you're still supporting the creators that you like, which is something that I enjoy doing. Great, right? But then a couple years go by and then the price starts increasing. And then it increases more. And then it increases more. And it came to the point where I was paying, I believe, close to 12... Uh, yeah, like twice the amount of money that I was paying at the very beginning of the offer, which means that I was now paying $12. Now, YouTube Premium, I was willing to go through paying $12 a month, mostly because I've seen the ads that have become very prevailing on YouTube. And all of them, if not the majority of them, if not all of them, have become absolute trash. Like YouTube is just straight up allowing anyone in every company to just post any ad that they want so long as they pay the fees to make their videos ads on YouTube, right? So that's why I kept up with it. But then as years went by, now sponsors are also a huge thing on YouTube. So that means, okay, so you're paying the $12 or however you're paying right now. Maybe you have a, a discount because you're a student now. I, I don't know you. But you pay the fee, you don't get any ads, and then it turns out that the creator now is putting one to two sponsor ads in their videos. Now, I'm not going to talk trash about sponsorships because I understand, especially with creators, I would fully support a creator that is trying to make a living with honest sponsorships or transparent companies that work or that offers a very reliable service. But is it really necessary? Or does 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 99% the 99% of the creators really believe that Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends is a good game? Do 99% of the creators really just go from NordVPN to ExpressVPN to Mollard or whatever it is to all other VPN service? Do all the creators really, really, really believe that Opera GX is the best browser on the planet and it has, oh, look at all these gaming features. Oh, you want your browser to look like this, right? You want your browser to be a little more colorful? Sorry, I know I'm just rambling at this point, but I'm just rambling because now even things like a sponsorship, like a sponsorship from a very genuine company that I believe offers a great service for my career that I just support seems like a... Like overkill when you have to pay fees to skip ads and then you out and you watch a movie and you watch 30 minutes of ads you turn on the TV you have ads you turn on a streaming service oh what now you have ads unless you pay an extra fee oh you want to watch cable TV oh well there's ads there too you want to play a video game oh well there's gonna be ads before you even open the video game because there's always sales on Steam there's always sales on Battle.net there's always gonna be sales on PlayStation and Xbox and all these things I'm just tired. I wish there was a way that you could just avoid all this without that being to go and live on a mountain like a hermit. I don't know. I just wanted to ramble. I just wanted to exp experiment with just making a video about some things that have been going through my head. What do you think about this? Do you feel as overwhelmed as I do? If so, leave a comment so that I can share my Patreon with you so that you can support me for only $1 a month. You're going to have great services like extended videos where I curse and I don't have to put bleeps between each curse word. And you, uh, you're also going to be able to watch me live. Yeah, you're going to watch me live. You're going to be watching movies where I don't say anything. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just watching the movie, but I'm not really saying anything. But you know you're there sharing time with me. So it's all great. And, and you're also... 
you, subscribe, subscribe, pay $1. Thank you for watching.